When I was very young, my grandmother used to tell me these stories as bedtime stories of the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. So I used to keep asking her for episodes of uh, Hanuman and Bali. And uh, so then, you know, when you grow older, you start asking more questions. You start thinking about these same stories from different levels. And at a certain point, I realized, you know, a lot of other people my age are asking these same questions. And the story just took shape. It wasn't a decision that had to be made. I just knew that it had to be a graphic novel. I'd never done a graphic novel before. I was trained as a filmmaker. So uh, suddenly deciding to do it as a graphic novel. So I was like, what? <laughs> Why did I decide to do it as a graphic novel? But that's the only way I saw it. You know, I saw it as a graphic novel. Just... I love the whole creative process you know, of writing, of drawing, of filmmaking, of whatever, but of storytelling. I love that whole process. So uh, every day of doing it has been thrilling or I wouldn't have done it for so long because the whole process, I started it five, six years ago. You know, so unless it is <laughs> invigorating to do it, you don't do it. You, know, you stop it one day and you think, why am I doing this? Yeah, but no, this is keeping me hungry, this is you know, satiating my hunger. I had worked in films and storyboarded for films and all that. Suddenly came to this and I was thinking, is this going to be fun? Yeah. How am I going to... <laughs> I had drawn when I was very young, but I never took it seriously. You know. Suddenly I thought, okay, I decided to do this as a graphic novel. Now let's see, you know, let's see, let's do it. And I started doing it and it was, wow, like, I was like, this is fun, this is amazing. <laughs> now let me keep doing this.